Welcome to Dalhousie. Sign says it in here. Hidden the data. Here we are. Sign says it in here. Hidden no data. Here we are. It's um, 10 to 9 in the morning. 10 to 10 in the morning. So, we're in here pretty early. The boss wants to know if we're staying here or going on. Said we should go inside and check and see what the road conditions are, like the Dalhousie. And decide. Change of plans again. Uh, we were going to either stay at Udna Data or go on to Dalhousie Springs. As you know, we got into Udna Data pretty early. Ordinarily, that's the road we'd go down to Dalhousie, but the road's closed. We knew that from Udna Data, so we're going up to Mount Dare. Up this way, about 135, 140 k's. And we get into Dalhousie Springs that way. Just a longer drive. Still got about another I don't know, 80 k's to go to Mount Dare. Uh, the bird at Udnadada said, nice spot to drop in here. Aringa Ruins, E-R-I-N-G-A. Nice long water hole here. A few people free camping up there as well. It'd be a fantastic spot. Didn't know that it existed. Obviously, we weren't looking at it because we weren't looking at coming this way either, but these are the ruins here. Give you a closer look to the water hole when we go back down. Not too much around, really. A couple of slabs and posts. Melbourne, lots of graffiti. I'm guessing this wasn't a garden at all. Cement slab on the ground here, and it's got a lot of these wire hoops. This might have had thatch on the roof. A lean to. Mount Dare. Apparently the location of the most remote pub in Australia. Had a beer this afternoon. I'll go back and have a look tomorrow morning before we leave into Dalhousie Springs. It's got the outside kitchen off. Cooking off a dal. A little bit of chicken. Some fresh bread. Just about to pull out of Mount there, just gonna pull up tank here. There's a tag along to a all parked up along here, so they made it nice and tight for us to get in, get some fuel. Right here, the pub. We'll take along, it's just uh, leaving. They're heading up the Madigan line apparently, so we won't be following them, which is good. Probably not the best time of day to be parking out the front of the Bowsers because it's probably peak period. It's just after 8 o'clock, people want to fill up before they head off. Now, out to Dalhousie now. Still on our way into Dalhousie. I've just pulled over here. I think it's called Opossum Waterhole. Probably have a permanent waterhole here. Just have a look. Sounds like there's a bit of bird life around. Now, Dalhousie Springs, the thermal spring. 37 degrees apparently. Um, this national park which has Dalhousie, it has um, the largest artesian spring network in Australia from what I understand. Something like 60 artesian springs, don't quote me on that, something like that. But I think the Dalhousie Springs is the largest individual spring. A place called Three O'Clock Creek. There's a total um, wood fire ban out here and a wood fire or wood collection ban as well. It looks like somebody's had something there. Ball there, this actually says drinking water. 
we're not too far now from Dow Housing. The uh, a bird at um, Mount Dare said that if the mosquitoes down at Dow Housing get too terrible, come up here and camp. Apparently, the mosquitoes are very friendly down there. Well, straight ahead, day use area and hot springs, and to the right is the camping area, Dalhousie Springs. So I'll have a walk around a little bit later, discover it together. Well, this is the waterhole, apparently 37 degrees. I haven't already mentioned that. Looks like at the moment we're the only ones camped up here. That'll probably change over the course of the day. Yeah, you can't bring your sh soap or shampoo in here. There's uh, showers and toilets here as well. Oh, yeah, that's very pleasant. Worried that it might be a little bit too hot for the, the weather, but yeah, it's nice. Work on the Dalhousie. Flow rate out of here is about, oh, I think, 130 litres a second, something like that. And where it comes out, it's grand, I think. Uh, the information board suggested it was about 43 degrees. Not another soul around. There's a couple of walks out here. There's one around Dalhousie Springs. A couple hundred metres. This is the bottom end of it. It's running that way. There's uh, another walk. There's a signpost over there. I think it's called Kingfisher Walk. It's um, three hours return. Goes to a uh, thing called uh, Mother Springs, I think. So this is the other side of Dalhousie Springs, the other side from the campsite in here. All the type of springs out here are known as Mound Springs. A little sign here says it, um, it's unstable ground out here because there's a new Mound Spring forming. You can see all the little lumps in the ground. I assume that's um, slowly the spring water coming up. So Dalhousie is behind us. There's a couple of these outgrowths spotted around the place as well. More springs, I'm guessing. And by the way, there's food around here. This is salt bush. You wouldn't eat that, that's a little bit um, old. If you look for the newer leaves, it's really nice and green. Probably something like that. But now we're in a national park. I'll leave my alone. Oh, it says 700 metres return. It was a little bit longer than that. It seemed like it in here. An hour, yeah, probably close to an hour with our stops and stuff. Would have been nice to see that serpent, uh, rainbow serpent spring. Going to go for a bit of a drive today. Going to head off to um, Simpson Desert border. So heading back towards uh, Papal Corner. Brown snake slivering off there, just missed it, was on the road. Well, we're gonna have some fun. Play in the mud and the salt. Oh, we'll take the side track. We're um 48 kilometers east of Dalhousie Springs. Past a convoy of motorbikes, two support vehicles, and another vehicle in the same way as us as well. Just pulled up the Freeth Junction. Sign here says um Dalhousie Springs 50 Ks and my maps has got it at 53.51 Bernie Bore 18 Ks 
we're just going on a little bit past that. And just arrived at Purney Board, there's a campsite here. Toilets. It's um, just after you come off the Simpson Desert track, heading west. Simpson Desert starts in about 8 k's from here. I'm going to pull in and have a look. Channel 10 UHF. You need to be on here. Should be calling up every 10 minutes just so that people will know you're coming through as well. Oh, I've lost my flag. Pernibor was um, started. Drilling by the French, of course, Petroleum Company in 63. So they drilled here to 1880 metres and um, capped it. But um, eventually the wellhead failed. Might be able to hear them. Lots of birds out here. Sign says danger, hot water. I suppose if it's come up from almost two kilometres under the earth, might have got, might have got warm a bit. Like um, Dalhousie, the water doesn't smell, you know, like sulfur dioxide. From the 1st of December until the 15th of March each year, the Simpson Desert National Parks are closed because of the heat and stuff. The speed limit in the National Parks are 40 kilometres an hour as well. And you meant to have a sand flag. And South Australia have particular requirements in relation to sand flags, whether it's mounted off the bull bar or off your roof. As you know, we've lost our flag. And we're at the beginning of the Simpson Desert heading east. Well, we're not heading east anymore. We're going to be turning back around. I've already mentioned Town 10 UHF and it's probably just courtesy to uh, give a call every 10 kilometres an hour let people know which direction you're travelling and your approximate position and how many vehicles are in your um, group. If we kept on going this way um, we'd probably end up at Papal Corner following the French line and um, if you wanted to go to the Birdsville Bakery probably another 100 k's, 140 k's further on. Got about five or six k's to get back to Dalhousie Springs. Found our flag, it was about two kilometres back from where we are now. Just sort of pull over here. Show you it's not always barren out here. Well, barren. Void of water. Pretty salty though. Oh, one of my favourite animals. Just down the front there, another little brown one. Keep out of its way. Come and have a look at us, maybe. Little black head on it. Here he goes, out of the way. 